This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Corolla. Let's lead the way. We all have photographic memories. It's just that some of us don't have any film. Ha 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 I'm hilarious. Hey guys, Julia here for D News. One of my favorite book series as a kid was about a kid detective, Cam Jansen, who by saying click, could snap a picture in her head and be able to remember the scene like she was looking at a photograph. But just like Cam Jansen though, photographic memory seems to be a work of fiction. There's a limit to the kind of information we can take in at once. We remember certain details of a scene, but not every detail. Like if I try to think of the painting of the girl with the pearl earring, I can kind of remember what her earring looks like, but I couldn't for the life of me tell you what color her eyes are. Little kids have something close though called eidetic memory. This is when kids can recall an image in extreme detail for a few minutes after they've seen it. But because most people lose this ability as they grow up, some scientists think it's an immature version of memory. As kids grow up and learn to read and write and think abstractly, memory becomes more abstract too. But yet there are some people with really good memories, like Stephen Wiltshire. He comes about as close as possible to being a human camera. After just a short helicopter ride, he was able to recreate the skyline of New York to almost near accuracy. Of course, he's an artist, so he took some creative liberties. But no serious scientific research confirms his abilities. While that's just one example, there are other cases of people with really good memories, like really crazy good. One famous example, the story of Jill Price, who remembers nearly every day of her life, was published in the journal Neurocase. She remembers everything about her life, down to what shirt she wore to Target to buy groceries on a certain day. Although her abilities might be the result of a kind of OCD where she obsesses over memories, which doesn't sound all that fun. Another study published in the journal of Neurobiology of Learning and Memory looked at the brains of 11 participants who might have similar memories. Scientists referred to this ability as highly superior autobiographical memory. While they performed pretty average on some cognitive tests, the researchers found that their brains were actually unique. They had stronger white matter connections, which could allow information to be transferred more efficiently in the brain. But the participants didn't use any memory tricks. The scientists found that, quote, instead they appear to have some inherent ability to retain and retrieve vast amounts of public and autobiographical events well beyond what one may expect from simple rehearsal. What kind of rehearsal, you ask? Well, mind palaces seem to be a great way to boost your memory. If you've ever seen BBC Sherlock Holmes, you know what this looks like. Pick a scene where you're familiar, like walking down your street or walking around your house, and put things you want to remember in a certain spot. Like if I wanted to remember Pi, I could put the 3 on my front door, I could put the .14 on the wall in my foyer, I could put the 1.5 on my banister, I could put the 9.2 at the top of my stairs. You get the idea. As I mentally walk through my house, I would associate those numbers with these locations. A lot of memory champions use this trick. While photographic memory doesn't seem real, and most of us don't have special memories, thank God, because I would hate to relive every embarrassing day of middle school, there are ways to improve your memory, like the Mind Palace trick, or Trey says to sniff some rosemary, or maybe make a fist. No, really, check it out in this video right here. All right guys, what tricks do you use to remember things? Let us know down in the comments below. While you're at it, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here. We've got new episodes every day of the week. This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Corolla. Let's lead the way.